125 grams of butter, which I've cubed. Fun fact, if you do put up a slab of butter into cubes, what you might like to do with them is just leave them out. Leave them out perhaps on a plate. Put cocktail put sticks on them. Put cocktail sticks on them. <laughs> <laughs> and I your just... housemate Kieran O'Brien will confuse them for cheese and try and eat some. So we've got three tablespoons here of golden syrup. Also, we've got a scant teaspoon, which to me is just just a bit, of, ba you up, of baking powder. We've got a tablespoon of ground ginger. I'm going to sift those lovely spices into my flour. So they're in there. You'll Let's notice see. I'm not having a huge part in the baking. You um, can have a bit in a bit. Turns out I can't actually cook anything without destroying it and everything around it. Hello from this angle. <laughs> I'm going to turn on my hot and I'm going to melt the butter. <gasps> oh and there it goes. God. It goes in with the 100 grams of sugar and also my golden syrup. And that's three <laughs> tablespoons of syrup in there and stir so that everything, when it's melted, is mixed together. As you can see, I've melted golden syrup, sugar, and butter together. I would eat that just as it is. I is think that, that wrong? would be. No, is it's that not wrong? wrong because it's all edible. You're supposed to stir it until it's a stiff dough. You want to get every fucking bit of flour. Oh my mix? god, this smells so good! <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the spices. <sighs> I'd love to go out for a drink with Gordon Ramsay, I think it'd be really fun. Do you know who I'd like to go out for a drink with? Emma fucking Watson. Dan, you're so predictable! I was gonna say Daniel Radcliffe, because I reckon he's a right crack. Yeah, how, probably. How are you doing there? What exactly is it I'm trying to achieve? <laughs> come, on, come on, I'll take over. No! <laughs> Put this down. <laughs> I'm now worried about this dope. Who would you like to have a drink with? All of the Chris's. Chris Pine, Chris Hemsworth, okay. Chris Pratt, and Chris Evans. I, I, Chris... Why are they all called Chris and they're all beautiful? What happened? Yeah, very good. Well done. Now, don't patronize me. I feel like a phony. I'm not even cooking. Here you go, roll that. Fine, I fucking will. I will, I'll roll it. You watch. I want you to roll it to three millimetres thin. What the fuck is that? That's not rolling. It's rolling, Dan. Is this rolling? There you go. Now she's sucking diesel. <laughs> she's what? <laughs> Can I eat some of this? Is that. Yeah. That's heavenly. Should I get it on? That bit, and then you go across like that, and then it's that up, up, and then you go the front bit. <clears throat> now, Hazel, you might have noticed that I didn't have a lot of friends when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> the point of the group was that you would cut him out while we're waiting for it to chill. Oh, careful. You're giving me scissors control. It's you or me. That's what you've decided. <laughs> of all the things I could have done, you want me to cut out this ridiculously difficult shape. Yeah? That's what you think that I should be doing, Dan. <laughs> well, you're a fucking funeral. <laughs> oh, I died and I was fine. Right, I would, but I would ask you to stop. You're doing a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> they've got cars big as bars, they've got rivers of gold. Oh. When the wind goes and right through you, it's no place for the old. You were handsome. You were pretty. Queen of New York City. When the band finished playing, they howled out for Ma. I've just realised that I'm singing the girl's part and you're you singing have, the man's yeah, part. You, you are singing my part. Story of my life. Do I? I could have been someone. Well, so could anyone. You took my dreams from me. You're actually trying. When I first found you. 
I mean, cut them with me, babe. I'm being that guy. Shame, yeah. yeah him. The boys of the NYPD choir stood singing Galway Bay. And the bells were ringing out for Christmas. <laughs> Genuinely, kids, when dealing with sharp utensils, always be sober and always be very careful. What are you doing? Ballet. <laughs> I did ballet until I was about seven. Right. But I stopped because people bullied me. Yeah, straight up. Like, they were really horrid. And they called me, like, a girl and stuff. I love- Oh, look at this. Isn't it lovely? People are dickheads. They literally Fuck were them. awful. The fact that some people can't follow their dreams because other people are pricks makes me really- Isn't it shit? Fucking angry. But, like, I never let them stop at me, like, acting and singing and stuff. But, like, that one was one that I, like, let go of. And I wish- I Like, I literally wish I hadn't. Oh my god, these are really good. Like, Hazel, genuinely. I know, right? Like, I'm really impressed. I know. Oh my god, they're precious! I know, Dad! Are you serious? Move a right little now? bit! <laughs> <laughs> this group is proof that you don't need all of your limbs to succeed. The poor fucker. His arms fall. The poor guy. He's gonna be fine, I'm gonna reattach them. Oh. 20 cc's of butter! Uh. <laughs> Have you ever bullied Don Layton? You're not a very nice person. And I hope, I hope that you had a little bit of a rough teenage patch. And that you've grown out of that now and that you're doing better in the world and treating people the way they deserve to be treated. You're right, Dan. <laughs> I'm totally fine. All you wanted to do was dance. You're Kevin Bacon in Footloops. You're, you're Billy Elliot in Billy Elliot. This is the Jackson Fine after Michael left. <sighs> They're missing the X Factor. Oh. <laughs> Just give it to me! Just let go and give it to me! There's an X Go away! No! There's an X I'm gonna stand here and tell you why baking is so relaxing. So the oven is at 190 degrees centigrade. Here they go. This shit is bananas. E A N A N A. I said the shit is bananas. B. A -N -A -N. So now is the moment of truth. Oh, they look good. They look alright. Right. right, so what I did was buy some. You can make it, but I just thought, fuck it. So I bought some black icing from Sainsbury's. Okay, and that's mine. Oh, it's brilliant! <laughs> yeah, I know it's not very Christmassy. They are, because they're gingerbread. They're gingerbread. That's Christmassy. Yeah, check you out. Look at you! Those are genuinely wicked. Love look, them. Look how good they are. Groupmas. Yay. I'm, I'm so impressed. Look at him. Check him out. Look at him. <laughs> Baby, give me one more chance. Won't you please let me back in your heart. Oh. Baby, I was blind to let- Oh, you're being Batista! Yay! I got you! Stop, go! You think they're, they're crumbly? Mm. I like it. Give me a high five. Cookie! Cookie! Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed Dan's antics, you can check out his channel Dude. by clicking on his face or social region somewhere. Very Columbus! Anytime I talk to anyone from any other country, their, their idea of Christmas is so polar opposite of mine. But I love that when you do talk to someone from Ireland, like they're all the same. Yeah. Like you may as well have all had the all exact the same, same childhood, day. And yeah. the same memories. Grr. Arg.